All right, everybody, how's it going? We're going to be starting something new today. What we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to start this DVD up. We're going to watch Goku's Origins and Dragon Ball. And we're definitely not going to do that because I don't want any copyright strikes. And if I even open this, the uh, fine HDCP protection that the PlayStation 4 has is going to kick in and fuck up the recording. I'm going to have to start it over even though I've only been recording for like 30 seconds. So fuck that. We're going to do Until Dawn. Haven't played the PS4 since probably Bloodborne, which you can probably spot over there in the uh, right-hand side of the screen. I want to play Bloodborne at some point and record it, but maybe later. It's been a while since I played. I'd probably be really rusty and probably jump back into it at some point and hopefully try to record it. I don't know when, but if you are a fan of the Soul stuff that I did on the channel, then you would probably be a fan of that, and uh, that's a different day. But today we're going to do Until Dawn. I started a little bit of it because I wanted to see kind of how the game felt and I felt like after playing for a little bit that it would probably be better at least for me if I recorded it because I feel like with these games I have an easier time recording them than just playing them flat out on my own I feel like commentating is one of the things that kind of gets me through a game like this, which doesn't seem to have a whole lot of gameplay. Holy shit, this is fucking loud. I might have to turn down my monitor. Because it controls my volume, don't ask. As you can see, nice little resume there, but I only played maybe 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. I ended up not playing a whole lot. Got a decent feel for the game, and felt like it would be just a little bit better for me to record because I feel like that would keep me more interested in the game being able to, to commentate on it I, don't know, I just feel that that way with kind of story based games um, like the telltale games and heavy rain stuff like that feels a little bit better starting a new story will overwrite your current progress that's fine you will also lose any collectibles I don't care that's fine related to character status that's perfectly great So we'll jump into this, try and have some fun with it, make some great decisions, and we'll move on from there. Funny enough, when, when Heavy Rain first came out, I figured that would be a game that would be just like too boring for anyone to even want to watch. But it actually ended up being the type of game that people, at least some people, love to watch because people want to see your choices, what your reactions are to certain things, and... It doesn't have to be the most exhilarating gameplay for people to watch, apparently, which back in, like, 2009, 2010, whenever Heavy Rain came out, I was under a completely different impression that people would just hate it, but eventually I did Heavy Rain and games like Heavy Rain, and people seem to like them, so we shall see. I'm also using a, a bit of a new chair here. It's a little squeaky. It's also a little bit higher. I liked how low my other chair was, but this chair's a little more comfortable. Oh, I might switch. I don't know. It's weird being higher up. You also might be able to hear my chair squeak. I don't know. I was trying to get it to show up on the recording, but it doesn't seem like it does. It might. I'm just standing in a dark room, don't mind me. 
Not much doing, not much going on here. It's a nice dark room. Surprised she didn't find that suspicious, like some dude just standing hey, in a room. Did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. All right, you get to move around a little bit here. His pants are awfully tight. That's okay. It's fine. I'll allow it. A lot of boozing went on here. Let's see what we got around here. I can't wait till I actually get past the parts that I've already seen. I haven't seen a whole lot, but I can't wait until I get past the parts. Right, Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Nasty smiley face, Mike Triple X. Great. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. I don't know. Time. Sounds like a ruse. Hold on, let me see this. Let me pick this up. Let me pick this up again. Does this even like look like a dude's handwriting? Ah, uh, kind of. Kind of. I still wouldn't be surprised if like one of the girls wrote it, but I don't know. Usually I picture women having like way better handwriting than men. Maybe that's because my own handwriting is absolutely atrocious. What do we got here? Can I talk to him? I can't even talk to this dude. I swore you could. I swear you could talk to him. There you go. There's like another thing back over here. Uh, use the right stick to look around objects that glint can be inspected. Cool. Let's pick up this bottle. Jeremiah Crag. Since 1794. That's pretty old. Alright. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Glad Once I have the hiccups. Again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Poor girl. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. Well, that was awkward. They all like popped out. No one said anything. Some dude has like a camera. Use the right stick to choose. All right. It's good to see the tutorials again. It's been a little bit. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to make some opposite choices that I made on my own. So this time I ran to find the others. I'm gonna try and wake Josh and see what happens. Or last time I Josh. I should say not this time. Josh. Fuck. Oh, it didn't even work. So. Guys, there's someone outside. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct button action oh, for the timer. Okay. Quick time event square. Great. Like, I don't even know what kind of prank that is, like... Uh, fast or... So let's go save. Fuck fast. Like, I really don't understand what kind of prank that is, like... You bait some poor girl into, like, trying to get together with some dude, but, like, really the dude doesn't give a shit, and, like, everyone else is just in the room, like, to watch. Like, I don't understand what kind of prank that is. It's, like, a really shitty prank. Follow footprints or follow noise, we'll follow the noise. Like, that's a really shitty prank. Like, what the fuck is the point of it? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you were taking your clothes off because you were wanting to get together with this guy. Wow, you're Hannah, so stupid. Hannah. Like, I don't get you? it. Another decision. Where are we going? Uh, follow shadow or foot. Fuck the shadow. I'm not following that shadow.
I don't get it. Like, if I had a woman or a girl, like, who wanted to, like, take their shirt off and, like, make out with me and do stuff, I sure wouldn't invite eight other douchebags into the room to, like, pop out and make her feel bad. Like, use the touchpad. All right, well, there you go. Maybe I'm just crazy, but... Hannah! I'm just saying. Doesn't exactly make sense to me. I mean, I guess I guess Mike is already quite the ladies' man and doesn't give a shit. So that's the only way I could think. Like, Mike gets so much, he gets so many women that like he just he can afford to do these pranks where he okay a buck where he just he can afford to do these pranks where he just like leads women on and then pranks them. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Hello? But. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, it's a totem, I think. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, oh, death totem. Alright, well, that probably means something good's about to happen, right? If I ever picked up a death totem in, like, a random death forest, I think I would just walk back, like... I know the prank Hannah. sucked on Hannah, but like, why would she run out into the middle of the woods? I think I would just go to the other room and like cry a little bit. Okay, well. What the hell was that? I don't know. I think I would just go to the other room and cry a little bit. I don't think I would like run out into Hannah. the woods. Hannah. Hello? <laughs> Hello? She doesn't even have a coat. Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here. Take my coat. I'm such an idiot. So dumb. Hannah, it's time to run. There you go. Now we're cooking with fire. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. All right, come on. We're getting chased by someone. We gotta go. Well, there goes the phone. See you later, phone. Why are there even, like, ropes there? No. No. Shit. No. 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 Ah. Oh, good job, Hannah. She fell off and dragged me with her. Oh, a helping hand from the pyromaniac. Well, last time I I let go because I figured it would be better than whatever that guy's gonna do. But now I'm gonna drop Hannah and see what happens. I'm so sorry. This is pretty fucked up, but I I couldn't even get up either. I couldn't get up either. Well, I guess not much changes between those two decisions, because that's pretty much what happens anyway. I was expecting something a little bit different, but apparently you just fall off regardless. The terrifying